So lately I've only reviewed air coolers, but some of you want me to actually take a look at an AIO liquid cooler again, and that's what I'm going to do today. So let me introduce you the new Enermax Aqua Fusion 240. This liquid cooler currently goes for like 95 to 100 US dollars, sometimes even more depending on the region. With this unit we get a gorgeous pump or rather water block, as well as almost square fans. Of course you may have noticed already, this cooling unit sports some fancy ARGB lighting. Right now you have the choice between two different Aqua Fusion models, this 240mm or the 120mm version. But with so many good all-in-one liquid coolers out there, it's hard to say which one you should really go for in the end. We keep asking ourselves the question, is this one good and how's the other one and so on. So is the Aqua Fusion 240 worth your money? Now there's a ton of stuff included. Quite astonishing how much stuff we get with such CPU coolers nowadays. Most of it is to get the lighting up and running. Besides the main things such as the liquid cooler, fans, thermal paste and mounting hardware, we also do get adapters, extensions, splitters, basically all the required cables and not to forget a small ARGB controller. So those of you that don't actually own an ARGB compatible motherboard can make use of the fancy lighting as well. The 240mm aluminum radiator should in theory be capable of handling a TDP of 350 watts and makes a good impression quality wise. But it needs to be said that neither on the radiator nor on the pump unit we get any metal fittings. Also this unit cannot be refilled, something we are very familiar with with most AIO liquid coolers out there actually. At a price of roughly 95 to 100 dollars that would be a bit too much to expect anyway. I'm always happy seeing the those beautiful weaved tubes sporting a decent length, and 400mm is nothing I could complain about. By the way, we aren't talking of FEP here, instead we are dealing with polyamide rubber tubing with multiple layers. A true highlight on this Aqua Fusion has to be this immensely good looking Aura Belt water block. A water block with a 3D layer design, which makes one hell of an impression and sure is an eye catcher. Kudos to Enermax at this point. Hiding behind a small rubber cover is the ARGB connection for the block, but the fans do not look so normal too after all. We are talking of the new so called Squaw RGB fans, I'm not quite sure how to correctly pronounce those, so I probably butchered the name, but whatever, I do understand what they intended to do with the name Square and ARGB. And you guys know I like designs that are rectangular and squarish. So from a aesthetic point of view, a very nice look, even though I wish the fan blades were illuminated as well, but the aesthetics are are always a matter of preference of course. The fans seem to be pretty well made though, even sporting anti-vibration pads, but these don't make the best impression, to me at least. A good idea in my opinion is equipping each of the two fans with two ARGB connections so the signal can easily be passed on to the next device. Connecting everything is actually relatively straightforward and with the controller you can easily switch between different effects. Additionally, the brightness and effect speed can be set too. The pump is equipped with a ceramic bearing and comes with a copper base. All the usual sockets except TR4 are supported and when it comes to the installation no complaints on my side, it's all pretty simple. So there's only one thing left to talk about, cooling performance. What's it like? I gotta admit I honestly didn't expect this much power cooling wise. Now well there aren't exactly huge differences noticeable between all those so called high end cooling solutions, my Intel i7-7700K can partially be blamed for that, nevertheless the results speak for themselves. The Aqua Fusion 240 not only has fancy eye catchy lighting to offer, but definitely also performance. It can easily keep up with more expensive AIO coolers, but it needs to be said price performance wise only few 
manage to beat the ML240L RGB by Cooler Master, at least when it comes to liquid cooling. Air coolers tend to have much better price to performance ratios. But let's be honest, the days are long gone. We enthusiasts tend to pay a lot of attention to the looks of our systems. It needs to impress aesthetically nowadays. And this is why manufacturers such as Enermax put a lot of effort into the design of their new products. When it comes down to the looks of water blocks, in my book, the title for the best aesthetics definitely goes to Enermax. At idle and under normal loads, the Squaw RGB fans can be considered very, very quiet. But at full load, when they spin at full RPM, they can get pretty loud, probably a bit louder than the competition. The pump, on the other hand, is completely inaudible, dead silent. So at the end of the day, what can I say about this AquaFusion 240? We for sure get some good cooling performance with spectacular looks at an attractive price, at least here in Europe. $95 sound good for what's being offered here by an all-in-one liquid cooler, with the exception of a few flaws I mentioned that you can easily get over when it comes to the fans, I can't complain, which is why, to be fair, I have to give this cooler my gold award. And with that said, thanks much for watching.